Morning all, Kevin Worthing Viper back for another hardware review and I've got a little RTA RDA for you this morning. I keep gonna say RTA for some unknown reason. Oh my brain's gone. Um it's called the Pixie, yeah, <laughs> and it's from Vapefly. Watch this, I'll be back with you guys in just a tick. Here's the Vapefly Pixie in its little box there, as you can see, you've got a picture of the uh, item on the front there, it does say Pixie there in rather a flourished font, and it says small, simple, smooth, fair enough, take a quick look around the box, right, let's get this thing out of here, shall we, paper sleeve as per usual, put that over to one side, nice touch on this, got the thumb cutouts on there, so that's good, right, put that there, there's the uh, Pixie, not a bad little thing, actually. I quite like this little one. Yeah. There we go. There it is. Yeah. Right, I'll pop that there for a tick. Let's uh, have a quick look and see what we've got in the box, if I can ever get this out of here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, right. Okay, so you get a little baggie of goodies in there. Your O-rings, you get your squonk pin, you get... Two types of uh, driver, you get your T-tool and your Allen key. You also get a couple of post screws, spare post screws in there with it. You get some wire bolt cotton from Vapefly, which is that stuff with the shoelace thingy on the end there, to make it easier to pop it through the coil. Now, they do include a couple of NI-80 coils with this, uh, now, I'm allergic to both nickel and nichrome, so I can't use these, so we'll put something else in it later on. Uh, you get a little user manual with it, which is uh, that's fine, it's in various different languages, so I would actually uh, 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 recommend that you sit and read this. The uh, English is right at the front, so that's fair enough. Pop that there. And you get, oh, where are we? You get one of these a uh, little plastic i'll show you what this is for in a minute but it's it's it, it's basically the uh one of the airflow thingy bob things like you know <laughs> pop that there anyway let's get rid of all this lot and then we can take a butcher's look at the rda itself get rid of that there. that's good right Here's the RDA. I'll just put it on here to take it apart. I always seem to have trouble getting that set. I always seem to have, because my hands are the way they are, I always seem to have trouble getting this ring off. But oh, there you go. Let's start at the bottom, shall we? Now you've got all your usual bits and pieces on there. You've got them, and it's engraved, by the way. It's not uh, uh, lasered on. So, yeah, and you've got uh, Pixie. You've got your CE mark, you've got your wheelie bin, you've got a unique serial number, you've also got designed and manufactured by Vapefly on there, you've got a gold plated uh, positive connection pin there, you've also got a gold plated negative pin screw there. The threads are pretty well done as you can see. The pin does stick out a little way. Uh, about a millimetre, so I would be comfortable sticking this on a hybrid. The actual RDA itself is it's 22 millimetres. Uh, it is a pretty tiny little thing. You've got a couple of O-rings round round the base there to hold the uh, the barrel on. You've got you, the, the the posts. You've got one like a block post and one a straight post there. And the, uh, the the positive post, which is the block, is actually sitting on a peak insulator. Let's see that there, yeah, just about. I don't like using this with the squonk pin. For the simple reason is the squonk pin holes on the... Uh, where is it? Let's find it. Right, there it is there. Yeah, that's the squonk pin. Right now, these little holes, they sit on the end there that's for um when you squeeze your bottle your liquid come out of those two holes there um and flood your cotton etc but because the way that the uh, the the pin is situated it doesn't suck a lot of liquid back down into the uh the bottle 
So you've got a run you run a risk of over squonking with this, obviously, then risk of uh, uh, leaks. If you look at the uh, look at the base or look at the uh, the well there, it's actually stepped, yeah. It's stepped, and that is the reason why I don't particularly like this as a a, a squonk. RDA, but there, there you go. Anyway, so <laughs> that's uh, that's. I think that's one of my one of my pet peeves. I mean, other reviews I've uh, I've seen that, uh, that they quite like it as a squonk, but then they say the same thing. It doesn't take a great deal of liquid back down to the bottle. Uh, but there you go. Anyway, along the top here, you've got your usual cutouts there for your post for your coil. Yeah, so when you put your coil in. Line it up with those uh, those notches there, and that's roughly around about the right place to put it. I generally lift it just slightly, but anyway, you'll see that in a while. On the front here, you've got a, a cutout there, and on the back, you've got a cutout there, and they uh, they correspond to the notches that uh, or the tabs rather in the uh, uh, the barrel there. What well, basically is just to keep the uh, um, the barrel in one place, steady, stable. Yeah. Um, the uh, the post screws on here are stainless steel, which is fine. The 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 uh, I haven't had any problems, and I've coiled this several times now. The post holes are not too bad. They're quite uh, quite uh, wide, actually. You can see that there. Yeah. So you're going to get some decent size, or get a decent size coil in there at least. Anyway, uh, there you go. Right. So that's uh, that's the deck taken a quick butcher's look at. Here's the uh, the barrel. Uh, now the barrel has been spray painted like a. This is the matte black version, as you can see. Um, it's it, it's been spray painted matte black, and over the top they've lasered uh, pixie in that. Uh, wild and woolly font thing there <laughs> but there you go there you've got um there's your airflow uh plug there and what we'll do is just pull that out of there that's that there we go there's a little bit of juice left on this because i thought all i did was just take the coal and cotton out but uh, you get two of these little things and they're made from heat treated plastic and basically, they're, they're, they're your airflow. I mean, you've got the dot airflow there, or you've got a wide airflow. I personally prefer the wide airflow myself, uh, but it's entirely up to you uh, which you, you use. I think, I, see, I'm not uh, a mouth to lung vapor, not really. If I can get this back in, it does go, go through the other way, doesn't it? Oh, I've got it round the wrong way. Oh, I don't know. My hands are playing up this morning. Come on, Kev. There we go. It's in. Uh, that goes in there like that. Um, there isn't really much more that I can show you about the barrel. You've got an O-ring round the top there that uh, that holds the cap in place. Or the airflow ring cap, yeah. Uh, that's fair enough, yeah. Okay, right, pop that to one side. Here's the airflow cap. And you've got a 510 drip tip on there, which is very firmly seated into the uh, into the cap. And the only way that I can get it out, very, very firmly seated in there. It's one of those uh, uh, drip tips that's got the rubber bands around the uh, the shaft of it. Yeah. Um, let's take a quick look at this cap itself. You've got um, a heat fin on there um, that does actually does work to help to keep the uh, the RDA cool or it dissipates some of the heat yeah generated you've got a pattern around the top here and that's basically to help you turn the airflow uh, you've got one wide airflow slot on there and you've got a pinhole airflow so and um, Obviously, you've got your drip tip and put your drip tip back in like that. And it sits extremely flush and very, very tight, as I said. 
Right, so let's uh, let's just put this on here. So there we go. There's your airflow there, and with the uh, the plug in there, it sort of goes down, and it hits your coils. Yeah, and it really does. It, it hits them just or it hits it just right. In, I haven't had any turbulence around really with this. Turn the uh, the airflow, and then you've got your pen airflow sort of thing you know so if you want a a, a, a tight draw then uh, that that's uh, that's fair enough or you can open it up and get a decent straight to lung direct to lung which is uh, I'm, I'm a direct to lung vapor myself right let's uh let's put a couple of coil i'll put a coil couple of coils where am i coming from let's put a coil in this um right uh, I'll be back in a second. All right. Right. So I've bunged a, a coil in this. Let's just uh, stick some liquid in there, and I'm going to use one of my favourite liquids, which is Dr. Frost Candy Cane. Uh, there we go. The coil that I've got in there is just a, a standard Tiger coil, so Cantle Tiger coil. That works out to uh, 0.6. Yeah. All right, pop that back on top there. The right way round. There we go. Okay, let's uh, let's go back up top and uh, take a toot of this thing, shall we? Ah, oh, welcome back up. Let's just bring me notes up. Yeah, we've been talking about this this little pixie from Vapefly. It's all right, it's a good little thing. In the 510 mode, in the, uh, the squonk or with the BF pin in there, I don't favour this as a squonk RDA at all, basically because the, the way that the pin is situated, raised there, not a lot of the liquid can be captured back down into the... the hence, it, it runs the risk of, of, of leaking. With the 510 pin installed i've had no leaks with this whatsoever anyway look i've got it set on the uh, on the pinhole vapor or pinhole airflow at the moment i've got it set at 18 watts let's give that a bit of a blast shall we quite a considerable amount of vapor for uh, a mouth to lung vape there yeah right let's uh just whack that up a bit open that fully and whack it up i'd favor this up about 40 watts so that's what we'll put it on to start with oh, love it i love it yeah this it's not going to be a major major cloud chucking RDA, but the flavour from this is really, really good. Right, um, what else? I'll, so I'm referring to my notes because I'm recording this like two weeks after I did my written review for it, so I'm having to remind myself. <laughs> if I was to bung this up to 50, which is the furthest up that uh, that I will ever take this, because the little RDA does tend to get quite warm. And with my micro lungs, I'll start coughing. But uh, as you can see, I've got it up as far as 50 watts. Now, I've got a 0 0.6 coil in there, so it's going to be a bit too much. But there you go. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the, uh, uh, the airflow there. It's quite so it is a very silent, very smooth airflow. Um the uh the vapor quality is is quite good. The air, the uh, um RDA uh, chain vaping it, it does get quite hot. And I, when I did my initial tests with this, I think I did it at uh, at thirty watts and did a, a, a few chains with it. Let's give this a, a toot. Yeah, I did it at thirty watts and for six toots. And uh, the the, I mean that's uh, that that is quite cool at the moment. So let's give it a go. Um, now the RDA is beginning to get a little bit warm, but being so it's made of stainless steel, it does cool down uh, extremely quickly. And I am in love with this candy cane. 
I really do love this candy cane, Ollie. It's brilliant. It's wonderful for this time of year when it's cold outside. You've got a bit of a throat on you. It's a peppermint. It's very, very nice. Yeah. I try and vape it all year round if I can. <laughs> right, yes. Um, as I said, I don't think this is ever going to become... Uh, I'll put that back on 40 watts, actually. I don't think this is ever going to be a major cloud chucker, although the uh, the vape quality is very, very good with it. That wide airflow is perfect for me. It really is. I found with the, uh, the, the dot airflow plug, it's better off used as um, a, a lower watt than 40 watts but yeah I, don't know, I mean that's fine that's fine yeah no there isn't really that much more i can add to this well let's do my uh, my pros and my cons great flavor production great vapor production overall build quality and design is is very very good it's the standard w with uh, uh what one will come to expect now from vape fly i mean that i mean they only set up business last year so uh, 2017 so i mean they're doing extremely well i mean they've, uh, they've had some excellent excellent gear come through um and i've been quite fortunate that uh i've i've tried nearly all of them like you know it's easy to insert the coil i know i didn't show you how to insert the coil or put the cotton in i just whipped it straight up etc um it is very very easy to do the reason why i didn't do it is i was going to sneeze and i thought i'd better turn the camera off <laughs> so i just got on and uh and and, and did it but uh, the posts in there, they measure out at 4.5 millimeters. So uh, I, I was cu I cut my coils, pre-cut my coils with the coily tool um, at uh, at 4.5 mil. Yeah, I do raise the coil up just slightly. Um, with that, that's a good point actually. With that barrel on there, you can get um, a a decent amount of liquid in there. Um, probably about a mil and a half. Not bad at all. Right, put that back on there. Okay, I don't think that there is a, uh, anything else that I can actually tell you about this. Oh, one thing that Vapefly did send to me when they sent the, uh, uh, they sent um, some uh, uh, fire bolt cotton along with the RDA, which I was uh, uh, grateful for because I was almost out of cotton bacon <laughs> at the time. But uh, there you go. Yes, uh, it's not bad cotton actually. It's not bad cotton at all. It's uh, yeah. There you go. There it is. Yeah, it's uh, not bad. Not bad cotton at all. It's very easy to put through your coils with that shoelace bit on the end there. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Anyway, as I say, this is Kevin from Wording Vapor. Thank you so much for listening to my warblings on. We've been chatting about the Vapefly Pixie RDA. I'll catch you lot on the next one. Not sure what it's going to be. Not sure when it's going to be, actually. But, uh, well, there you go, anyway. Right, I'll see you soon. Cheers for now. Because you know I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles.